Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the Earthly Mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand events that are currently happen on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, I hope that um, many of you are have joined with us to pray at the 10th uh, hour of the night. Doing it for the last couple of nights. And something I've noticed is that before I was being awakened around 4 o'clock, tossing and turning, and couldn't go back to sleep. Now that I've awakened and knowing the purpose of why the Most High has been awakening me, and been going ahead and praying at that time. Once I finish my prayers, I go back to sleep very comfortably. Fall back to sleep, and um, without the tossing and turning as I was before. So I'm praying and hoping that many of you guys are have, experiencing the same things. You know, we're looking for that 8,000, that square root of the 1% of the population to be praying when the heavens are open in order to exact change on this planet. Something I want to talk about right now is A.D. 2019, after the death of 2019. We're living now after the death of anything that was previously going on in 2019. That would be the last year of any semblance of normalcy for this world and its inhabitants. I was listening to ESPN radio a little while ago, and I was listening to Max Kellerman, and he was talking about the passing of Biz Marquis. I know many of us know about Biz Marquis. You got what I need, you know, just a friend. Thinking of, you know, how it was when we were growing up and brings us back to the nostalgia of our childhood. And we're seeing many of the um, famous people that we grew up with passing away. And something that Matt Clemens said that was pretty interesting was he was talking to his daughter. He might have been 12 or 13. And, you know, he's talking about these people that are passing away. I guess his daughter said, we know that's because you're old. And it kind of, when these people die, makes you realize that the world that you uh, grew up in doesn't exist anymore. And, you know, kind of made a lot of sense. Except now, that's true for everyone. See, the times of thinking that it's only, you know, our world has changed, you know, that's not the case. Everything before 2019 is done, is gone. I see Brother Big Levi doing a lot of great videos, especially when he's going into, like, the, um, the news. And the last one he did when he was just looking at all the numbers and you start to see how the Most High is leaving signs for us to show you that it's him. It'd be like 21 structures die. I'm mean, sorry, we're destroyed. And, you know, it'd be like 59, or no, what was it? Like 29 structures gone, destroyed. And something else would be 54 uh, damaged or something like that, and you'd be seeing like 21 backwards is 12, 
five plus four is nine, which is destruction. You know, you can see that the angels are being sent out to um, accomplish the things that we've asked for. They're being sent out to fulfill the things that we've been asking for. And it just gets to be amazing because story after story after story that uh, Big Brother Big Levi was uh, bringing out, numbers just kept popping up. 21 and 7, you know, or, or 12 and 7, 12 tribes, number 7, spiritual perfection, you know, 8, renewal, 12 tribes. You start to see it over and over again. But you also look at 2019, you know, 80, 2019. You add up 2019, what do you get? The numbers. You get 12. We know it's not after the death of the 12 tribes, probably after the death of the 12 the curses of the 12 tribes. And you see how the curses have switched. And you're just looking at the news and you're looking at the fires in Oregon. You're looking at the grasshoppers, 2.5 billion grasshoppers. You know, you're looking at the water and the drought over here in the West. Looking at the earthquakes, the volcanoes. You're looking at the uh, job situation. You're looking at the news and how they try to put a rosy picture on everything as if things have gone back to normal. You're looking at the Olympics and anything that they want a distraction is not working out. There are many issues going on with the Olympics right now. With many of the athletes not being allowed to go and participate. Just because many of the uh, people here have decided to bury their heads and act as if things are back to normal, the rest of the world doesn't seem to share that same optimism. So yes, we're seeing how this is accelerating. And it's going to continue to accelerate now that we are praying when the heavens are open. Our prayers are going to be magnified. We're praying on one accord. We're praying for the same things. The Father wants to give great things to his children. The Father is the one that put us through the curses. And he's going to want to be the one now to, like you said, in Genesis 15, 13, that we're going to be coming out with great substance. We're going to be getting renewed, repaid. So like I said, we're living in AD 2019. After the death of 2019. We know that people keep saying that they've taken the cure and that they're good and that, you know, they can't pass it along. And it's only people who haven't taken their cure that are passing these, uh, you know, the plague back and forth. We know that the Most High is in charge. We know that when the Spaniards came here, they were covered. They did not get the plague because the plague was specific to our people. The plague was sent to destroy the Most High's chosen people. It was the plague was sent to sweep us off the land. So the Most High, you know, you love to hear Krishna saying that God is still on the throne. God's on the throne. He's still on the throne. He's still in charge. Well, that same power that was in charge that lifted you up. He was on the throne back then. And he, he was on the throne and he lifted you up. Now that same power is on the throne today. 
And now that power is lifting up his people. That power is now that same power. You always love to say he's on the throne. He's in control. Well, he's in control now, too. And he's lifting up his people. As much as you want to think back to 2019 and they didn't have a care in the world and things were going great and they thought that this train, gravy train would never end, the gravy chain is over. You are now living in the after death of the 2019 way of, way of life that will not be coming back. So, yes, you know, we're seeing many of the things that we grew up with, things that we were used to, uh, people passing away, dying. But this is the, this is the case for everyone now. This is the case for the young and the old. Now is the time to figure out the truth. Put your, if you've been called... To put your faith in the Most High. Now is the time to put your energy into following Him. Now is the time to put your, you know, efforts into cleaving to the Most High's chosen people, cleaving to the truth. Because as we know, the things are going to continue to pick up as we get further and further away. From 2019, people are coming to the realization that things are not going to go back to their normal. As much as they try to make it seem like it is, it will not be. It can't. The Most High is still on the throne, right? The Most High has a plan. His plan was for blessings and cursing. He cursed us for our disobedience. He blessed you, other nations, as we went through our cursing. He is now blessing his people once again while removing the curses from us and putting it on you. He's taking the cup of the dregs that we have drank. He's taking it away from us and we will never have to drink of it again. And he is now giving it to you. This is what that whole 2019 switch was all about. It's always been now about the switch from the blessings and the cursings from his people to the other nations. All praise is to the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it. Yahweh Shai. Shalom.